hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial so in this video I'm gonna show you how to install open SSH server on the Windows server machine so are you ready let's get started so first thing first why we need an SSH server so as you may know nowadays we work in a mixed environment so we have some Linux servers, Linux client and Windows servers and Windows clients. So sometimes we need, for example, to access the Windows command prompt from a Linux machine or Windows machine. So in this case, we need to install SSH server on our Windows. OK, so here I'm on my Windows server 2019 machine. And I will show you how to install the open SSH server on this computer. Okay. So first thing first, we'll be using actually uh, PowerShell in order to do that. So I will actually here I launched command prompt as an administrator. Okay. So I will launch PowerShell. Here we go. So I'm under PowerShell. So the first thing is to get the name of the package to be installed. So for that, I will use the command get windows capabilities. OK, I will search for the package online and let me search for all the packages, for example, that begin with the keyword open. OK, so remember here we are looking or open SSH so here we go we get actually two packages so one for the client open SSH client as you can see here the state is installed by default on my Windows server machine and we have also open SSH server which is not present okay so we actually will be installing this open SSH server here in this machine so in order to install it it's pretty simple we can actually use another command add windows capability okay and with same uh, parameters online and here for the name i will actually copy just this open sh server okay so let me copy it or mark it first, then copy it. Here we go. Then I will just paste it here. Okay. So then I will hit enter in order to allow the package to be installed. So let's hit enter here. Here we go. So now you can see the operation is running. So it will take a little bit of time in order to download the package and to install it. So I will forward the video in order to actually get the result. OK, so after a while you get this uh, output here. OK, so now let's verify actually the installation. OK, so actually in order to verify the open SSH installation, we have to get two important services. So let's see the first one. The first one actually is called SSH daemon. So here you can see the SSH daemon is running. This is open SSH server. And another service that must be also present is the SSH agent. Here we go. You can see also the service is also running. OK, so there is actually some option that you could add. For example, uh, let's configure these two services in order to start up automatically whenever your Windows machine boots up. OK, so in order to do that, we set the service. And here we specify the name of the service, for example, SSHD. And we configure the startup type to automatic. Okay, 
so the service will start automatically automatic so here the service will start automatically whenever your system starts okay startup type okay here we go and we do the same for the sh agent okay and also sometimes the service they are not running so you must start them so in order to start the service it's pretty easy start service this is the powershell command and the service name so i will start here shd and also the ssh agent so make sure to execute this command in order to start the service and to make it start up automatically okay so now that our service are starting and running let's test that so actually i forget to tell you something you have also to open the ssh port on your windows server so let's go back to our windows machine and we have to open the port 20 on our firewall so let's go to the firewall here okay so you can see here the firewall is on by default so let's go to the advanced settings and for inbound rules you have to make a new rule to allow ssh so simply you go here to new rule and you choose here uh, port okay you go next you choose a specific port for example 20 and this is tcp port next then allow connection next then you choose when does this rule apply so if you are part of the domain or your private network or public so you go next and you name this rule low for example ssh simple as that so after you do that now you are able to connect from any windows machine okay so now let's go to our uh, windows and try to connect to ssh to this windows server so here i will open actually my command prompt in my windows 10 machine okay so this is my command prompt for the windows 10 professional machine and simply to connect i will use ssh then administrator of my windows server and of course here i'll provide the ip address which is 192.168.1.20 i will hit enter and you can see that i have to provide here the password so let me type the password for uh, my uh, windows server i guess i mistyped the password actually i mistyped the the user it's administrator here i have a typo here so administrator here we go then here we go so you can see now i connected to the command prompt of my windows server so this is aminos is the name of the domain and administrator if the user that is locked and it's rv w2k19 is actually the name of the windows server that i am connected to okay so you can here type all the command that you want for example dire you can also switch to powershell if you want and execute all the powershell commands for example get chart item here we go so that's all for this uh, very quick tutorial how to install open ssh on your uh, windows server as always i hope it has been informative for you 
and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye!